So, I wanted to make some alarm clocks, so I went on to my Orfusion 360 program and designed uh, these alarm clocks. And here you see the little uh, dial knot for the alarm clock. I'm letting that sit on here, but I'm going to cut off my alarm clocks. So I'm just carefully cutting it off. Making sure I'm not breaking anything. I'm actually not using that much support for these because I found that this is uh, printing very nice even with a little support. I'm going to leave that one because we need that one. And here I have my first alarm clock out. And I'm going to sand it a bit. Be careful while sanding these pieces, it is resin and even the dust from sanding is toxic. So uh, be careful and take care of yourself. I made quite a lot of these but I'm only going to use a few of them for my watchmaker den, the watchmaker den. So I am going to make I think three and I'm just going to paint them now. And this is some color shift uh, paint, acrylic uh, metallic gloss finish. I got that and I actually don't remember where, where I got it, but it's folk art. And I kind of like the uh, way it works. So I'm going to paint these and I'm going to give them a few layers already. I think I'm going to paint them in three different colors, so I'm just going to use my Citadel paint for the rest of these. Um, so one of them I'm going to take my gold color. And I'm going to give them all a few layers of these uh, metallic paints because they are not covering all the way through. Uh, let's see the last one. Let's move, move to a gray color. I'm gonna end off the paint job and then I will be back. I painted them a few times and I'm happy with the result now. So I'm going to my metallic ink. This is a silver metallic ink. And I'm going to paint in some details. First of all, I'm going to paint these uh, knots for the back side of the little alarm clock. Then I go and take, I'm going to make this on this one so you can see it. So I'm going to make the details here. And this little pin in the middle as well. Like 
that. I have a hair sitting here. There we go. Oops. Do not do that. And the legs here in front. And I'm just going to give this little foot a tiny bit as well. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm going to make a little around the back side here. I'm just going to make a circle thing here. Like this. And I'm going to make these details on all three of these. So here we go. I painted them all with the details and the small screws. So they are ready. Now I take out my printed sheet with the uh, clock face. And I'm going to find my glaze now. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my pencil. And then I just glaze a few of these. Not too much, I don't want the paper uh, print to run out anywhere, so I'm just going to leave it here and let it dry. I cut out these uh, clock faces and I'm just going to use some normal paper glue uh, to glue them onto my clock. Making sure I have uh, the glue all the way out to the edge for the paper. And placing the dial right so that the 12 is up, making sure it's sitting perfect and let it dry. So it has dried now so I'm going to take my UV resin and I'm just going to make a tiny tiny dot of resin here in the center of the clock. And I'm going to make sure that it is all out to the edges. And then I put it under my UV lamp. So now it looks like this. It has this glossy uh, face on the little alarm clock. And I'm going to take these now. And I'm going to cut them off. Like that. There we go. Taking my super gel. So this is super glue gel. I'm going to take this little thing here and I'm just, just putting a tiny tiny bit of super gel on there. And I place it on my alarm clock. I'm gonna do that on all of these. And that's all there is for this little alarm clock. I hope you liked it. I'm going to leave a link in the info box for my print file so that you can print it yourself on your 3D uh, printer, the resin one. Thank you for watching my video and happy crafting.